Greetings, YouTube. Today we have more instances of women and men being kicked off planes. Why? Because they're Muslim. Two women kicked off because they were their, their presence made the flight attendant feel uncomfortable. A couple kicked off because the woman was wearing a headscarf. The man hid his cell phone and he was seen sweating. So, did he hide his cell phone or did he put his cell phone in his pocket? I put my cell phone in my pocket all the time. Some of my pants even have snaps or zippers. So I put the pocket cell phone and then I close that. Is that hiding? Or would or would that be seen as just stowing my phone in my in my pants? Then again, I'm Lily White. I'm not Muslim. I'm not sitting next to a woman with a headscarf. So I'm sure that the metric that I am judged by is different than the metric that this couple was judged by or the two women were judged by. This, this is once again, flight attendants apparently terrified of their passengers. The mere presence of being Muslim in public is enough to get someone kicked off a plane. Now Delta said that they were going to completely refund the money of the, of the couple. That's nice. They were trying to get home to their children. You want to explain to their children why their parents were kicked off a plane because there was a bigot on board the flight crew? You want to explain that to him, them? While well, just being Muslim in public is enough to get you banned from a flight? Now, I don't even want to imagine what would happen if they had been black and Muslim. Well, they probably would have just shot him in the, on, on the tarmac. This kind of thing just drives me insane. The, the see something, tell something philosophy. Because they're not seeing anything. They are projecting their fears into the real world. Someone hiding a cell phone could just be putting it in their pocket or stowing it in their bag or tucking it inside a jacket. But if that is done while the, a bigot is present, the bigot may perceive that, well, that they're hiding their phone from me. They must be doing something. And you can see the capital letters in doing something inside their brain. There's probably letter, more letters in there than there are brains. I'm just, I, I'd like to say I'm baffled by this, but I'm not. The rhetoric of racism and theistic bigotry is rampant in the world at the moment. In Europe, in America, it's it's horrible. We're seeing the rise of right-wing political parties. We're seeing atrocious behaviors. They're all being considered acceptable now. Thanks to certain politicians making it considered to be acceptable. This narrative had been put forth that the only normal person is white and Christian. And I'm tired of it. And I would like to see institutions and businesses to start cracking down on employees who can't do their jobs. I'm tired of politicians pushing policies which discriminate based on religion or on race or, 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 or ethnicity. I'm sick of it. And I don't know what to do about it. But I can't point a finger at it. And I can say that it's vile.